Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Edge Reality Suicidal. I have, I mentioned in the last episode briefly, but I have, uh, in the last episode or the one before it, I have talked about, uh, I've sent an email off to the Miss Chamomile, 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 Miss Chamomile, Miss Chamomile, whatever, I don't know, whatever, I can, I can entertain myself with this for literally hours. Um, but I sent a message. Oh, I wanted to Goomba stomp them, but I missed. Um, I sent an email off to her. No response yet, right? Let's just check live. I might have got it and just not noticed. That happens often. My YouTube video has been age restricted. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Nothing um, important. Nothing there in this email. No. How about in all inboxes? Nope. Okay, so do not seem to have gotten a response as of the current moment. I sent the email off less than 24 hours ago. I wouldn't necessarily... I mean, I'd expect a response by now, but I'm not disappointed I don't have one, you know? It's still... Vintage. It's, like, it's, it's within the expected range, but the expected range isn't over yet. <laughs> um, so, you know... The, the expected range ends basically like Monday night. You know, maybe, maybe they were a little bit busy today, didn't have the time to... Oh, I'm Goomba stopping you, dude. No, you jerk! You moved! Um, the expect, you know, maybe, maybe they didn't have time to respond to my email yesterday, they didn't have time today, they're going off the weekend, they get back to me Monday or something like that. That's still, you know, expected territory there, right? In my opinion. Come on, dude, stop running away! I'm gonna learn how to Goomba stop these guys one day. Um, so, you know, yeah, I'd, I'd expect it by now, but I'd also expect it by 10 minutes from now, by 3 days from now. Let's get you restocked. The, the expected range kind of lasts a little while here, so. But I did send an email off about uh, getting it designed. I'm going to be getting the, more or less the same avatar, um, except it's going to be a full body thing. And, uh... Like in a new style, with new poses and stuff. Like it's it like the 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 avatar that I have now is is based on me. It's it's I sent a picture of me to somebody and then uh, they drew it for me, which is what I wanted. Um, so I just sent the the avatar to somebody because I didn't want to take a picture, and. Uh, you know, it's just like, same kind of hairstyle, same, you know, brown eyes, and then like, other than that, you know, creative freedom. And then I also said, you know, if you would rather have more restrictions, here's some, some stuff that I'd like, send some pictures of, of clothes and, and stuff to go, and like some descriptions of things and, and whatnot, and asked how much it would cost, and if they'd be able to handle it, and if it's, you know, commercially... Uh, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I have the rights to use it commercially or whatever, and um, all this kind of all the, all this kind of stuff you gotta ask when you're getting a commission done, you know what I mean? Um, so you know they they might get back to me, they might not. I don't know. I do not know. But uh, I'm hoping they do, cause I like their stuff. I'm happy to pay for. It. Uh, I've got, um, I'm also talking to the friend that made the thumbnails for everything, or all of the graphics for uh, my channels, actually. Um, I'm a deep Chandon, however you say it. Look, I said it similarly to how he says it. The issue is that he sends recordings of it, and sometimes even the way he says it is different. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> um, I don't really know. Uh... Anyway. 
Um, it's it's the chant in that that uh, that really gets me for me because he he sent some recordings of it uh, as like chandin and then like chandin and like i just like i don't know i don't know what the right way to do it is and honestly i don't say it enough to really need to know so um anyway i get we're, we're, we're online friends you know like we, we use aliases more than anything monikers um so he's gonna be working on uh my new thumbnail for the minecraft series We've got that kind of in the works. Going to be commissioning a new one there. Uh, we've got uh, the person making the new avatar, the new thing. Or well, we're, we're in the process of, of getting that done anyway, of, of finding somebody to do that anyway. Um, so that's that's also getting done. Uh, one of my friends is also uh, like enjoys making Minecraft skins, so I'm going to be having a. Uh, a custom Minecraft skin going on. Let's see if uh, it looks good and stuff. I've never seen one of their skins before, so if it looks good, we'll use it. And if it doesn't, I'll, I'll you know, sorry, but I want something that looks good. I'm sure it'll look great. They'll have absolute confidence in them. Um, so it's gonna be it's exciting. We got like all kinds of new stuff going on. So I talked about uh, how my current skin is. You know, Hollow from Spice and Wolf. Again, excellent anime. If y'all haven't seen it, like, do go watch it. It's fantastic. Um, but, uh... I can't, I can't really put that on any kind of merch, you know? Can't really, can't really sell Hollow merch, you know? It's not really legal for me to take that intellectual property and then stick it on a shirt. And be like, it's my Minecraft skin. Not really, not really legal. So, we'll have to. I need one made. They asked me what I wanted it by. This friend of mine who's making it, they're like, when do you want it by? I'm like, now? <laughs> like, I don't get it. I don't understand the question. <laughs> I want it by, like, yesterday. If, if it takes you a week to get it, that I'm not going to be, like, mad. Like, it's fine. You know? Um, but, but, but if you ask me, like, you know, you can have it whenever you want, when you want it, the answer is, is now. Um, like, I don't, I don't understand the question. Um, when do you, when do you want this thing by? As soon as, as soon as I can get it, you know? Hey, we can make it up. 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 Let's go! Oh, that was good. Um, so I kind of got a laugh out of that. I'm like, I don't understand the, the point of the question. Wait, wouldn't everybody want it by now? Maybe, maybe this is the autism speaking. I mean, it could be. Maybe that's why I don't understand the question. Uh, can I Goomba stomp you? No Goomba stomp. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't mind if it takes longer, right? It's not like I'm going to be upset if it takes longer, so I want it whenever it's done, you know? But, uh, I'm just, just wondering, when do you, when do you want it by? Like, when, when do you want it? Whenever it's done. <laughs> um, but, uh. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get a new uh, new Minecraft skin made there. It's gonna be actually fairly similar to the KF2 like outfit that I have going on here. Um, ish, ish. Um, I did say purple dress, and they were like, "Heck yeah, let's do it. That sounds like fun." And I was like, "Wow, it's great that you think it's fun because." Um, Otherwise, I'd feel really bad about you making it. <laughs> um, I'll probably end up paying them if I like it. They... I mean, it's taken them, like, months to get it by now. Like, it's it's a pretty low-priority thing. Obviously. It's it's a Minecraft skin. And, uh... 
they we we we've, we've not talked about payment for it at all, but I mean if I like it, I was I was prepared to ding I was prepared to, to spend money on a Minecraft skin once I got into Minecraft uh, series anyway, so I'd uh, I'd feel bad if it's if it's good quality stuff and I, I don't end up uh, paying a fair price for it, you know what I mean? So I'll have to I'll have to go over that I guess. But we got a lot of stuff going on and it's all for like the Minecraft series mostly. But it's gonna be fun to honestly have um, some of the like have that differentian dif different that that difference between the new channel and the old channel. Uh, the old channel is still gonna be using the old avatar. The new channel will be using the new stuff. So it'll be a bit of a difference between the two channels, even though they are the same thing, kind of. Um, yeah, it'll be cool. It'll be fun. And I'll be one of those freaks with two YouTube channels, and it'll be pretty fun. Yeah, like I said, I'm uh, I'm working on getting it commissioned on something commissioned. Um, no response yet. Like I said, I mean, unless that was a response. Seems like it was from Facebook. Where's he going? He's going over there, dudes. Yeah, it seems like to me it was from Facebook. I'm not really one of those peeps who's like, um, I got a message. Is it from? Is it from so and so? Yeah, not so much. I don't, uh, I don't really get uh, stressed out by those things. You know, it's kind of uh, just a recurring theme for me. I don't really get too stressed out by things in general, typically speaking. Like, definitely sometimes I do, you know? Like, uh, the whole age restriction thing definitely got me pretty stressed out. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't really get too worked up by things, typically. Um... A friend of mine was asking me uh, last night about um, Yoink, about uh, like just just some you know thought experiment kind of things you know where um, they they let's see what was their first question. Um, All right, their their first questions were were a lot of like, uh, you know, how would you feel if you knew that there was uh, heaven or hell? And I was like, indifference. <laughs> I don't really doesn't really affect me. Knowing like knowing or not knowing, I mean, I'd be like, cool. I I like I like knowing it. And uh, we got talking about like why you'd want to know that, right? We got into discussing whether or not knowledge could be like a bad thing like if, if knowledge could be in itself something that uh, that is is negative I'm like I don't in, in my opinion I don't think that knowledge itself is ever uh, in itself bad I think that it is exclusively good to know more things um, a lot of people disagree with this and if you disagree with this that's fine okay um, it's it's perfectly acceptable because uh, it's actually very, very common to think that some knowledge is um, bad. That some knowledge has a negative effect on your on your life. Uh, in like autistic communities and stuff, there's a lot of people who think that uh, in autistic communities, ADHD, OCD, you, know, you name a you name a uh, Uh, a mental health like diagnosis thing uh, you go to a community you'll be able to find people who are upset that they were diagnosed that uh, people who wish they were never diagnosed people who wish that um, you know they never knew right people who are like yeah I got diagnosed and like my life just got so much worse afterwards after I knew that I was autistic and it's actually very common um, for people to feel like having that knowledge made their life worse that uh, that they wish they never knew because knowing just kind of messed them up and uh, in my opinion I think that this is asinine um, again if, if you feel that way it's fine like that's that's your own thing but but for me I just I feel like that's insane like I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm so far away from relating to that that, uh, that I think that they must be like, uh, a, a, some kind of thing with, with, with our brains that, that says like, 
like like how you handle information and uh, and 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 things like this because um, in my opinion knowing that I'm autistic doesn't change my life at all uh, except for that I now know that I'm autistic it doesn't make me sad it, it it's it's a it's a purely neutral thing and, and the only effect is that I ha I know more which is a purely good thing in my opinion um, and uh, you know I'm able to, to react and respond to that accordingly because now I know right um, and I, I feel like it's insane to, to be upset by it but some people do and, and they'll, they'll come up with all kinds of excuses for it too when we talk about it right because it's, it's, a, it's a topic that's actually like really really common uh, for me and uh, people will always come up with with all kinds of, of reasons I guess not not necessarily excuses because um, excuses isn't really the right word it kind of has negative connotations to it when I don't really want to be doing that because again if, if you feel that way that it's not really bad you're not wrong you're you know it's a purely subjective kind of thing um, but people always come up with all kinds of excuses or, or reasons rather again um, for, for why they feel that having this diagnosis was a bad thing. Why knowing that they're autistic is is worse than not knowing. And I always look at them and I'm just like, none of that has to do with with like the knowledge itself, but how you handled it. You know what I mean? Like, the knowledge itself didn't do anything wrong. It was it was just you not being able to to kind of process that information in a, in a healthy way. Um, but. Uh, you know, everybody's their own person. Um, so we got into that a little bit last night. And then uh, we started talking about, okay, like, what if you knew you were definitely going to hell? Like, would you change anything that you do? Um, knowing that there's there's karmic repercussions to, to the decisions that you make. And I'm like, no, I, I definitely would not. I, I, I already do whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> I don't really need to, to know that I'm going to hell anyway to, to be willing to go and do things. Like, yeah, okay. You know, some people might say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, like, rob, and I'm going to I'm gonna kill people, and I'm going to, you know, do all these things that are definitely bad things, because, like, well, I'm going to hell anyway. And uh, to me, it's just like... I feel like if you actually wanted to... No, oh, we could have got a stomp. I feel like if you actually wanted to do that, you'd probably be doing that anyway. Um, so for me, if I knew I was going to hell, I wouldn't really change anything. Um, because to me, if I were to be, like, restricting myself because I feel like, you know, I'm going to have to live in eternity in hell, is dumb. Um, because an eternity in hell isn't all that much different in my opinion than an eternity of being somebody that I don't really want to be so in my life I already kind of do whatever I want and, and live my life how I want and 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 I, I don't really care about what other people think about it and I, 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 I live as my own person doing what I want when I want and uh, you know as long as it doesn't hurt other people or whatever which I don't want to do things that do so you know um, he just kind of came flying out of the sky. That's kind of cool. Um, like the idea that I'm going to hell, it just doesn't really affect me at all. So we got to, to talking about like time machines. Like, you know, okay, you can go back in time. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> he, he, he first asked, okay, you can rewind time for like 20 seconds at a time. And I'm like, well, I'd probably stop burning my eggs. You know, sometimes when I'm making fried rice or whatever, I'll leave a little bit of the egg stuff in the pan on accident and then... Uh, end up burning the egg and, and then my veggies taste all like burnt egg and stuff and it's all just a mess but I guess rewind time and then boom no more burnt egg and he's like you're insanely boring <laughs> like I don't know like I'm just I'm fairly content in my life you know um so then then he offered up like a time machine to me like I can go I can go to whatever time that I want and do whatever I want I uh, I have I have absolute freedom with the time machine. Uh, oh, we got talking about immortality. Immortality. Uh, he's like, what do, what would you do if you if you knew you definitely couldn't die for the next thirty years? Like I'd probably still try to avoid dying because I I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean I'm not gonna just trust that I'm not gonna die. I'm still gonna be like, man, 
I hope I don't die. You know, I'm not gonna drive off a cliff because what if what if I die? How do I how do I how do I know that I'm not? You know, even if even if it's forcefully tested to me, how do I know that this time when I drive off the cliff, if it's I'm not gonna just be dead? You know, like so I'm gonna live my life like normal just just because I die in 30 years and I know that I won't die until then doesn't mean that I really know. You know, uh, we got talking about immortality. Again, like it's it's the same thing. Like I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push my luck. I don't want to die. Um, you got talking about the eternal torment that comes from it. He's like that doesn't scare you. I don't. Uh, I don't really care to be honest with you. If, if I have to live through eternal torment, then I that's that's just the way that it goes. You know, a few hundred years I'll get used to it, and then uh, that'll just be life. You know, my brain will be gone anyway. <laughs> It'll be fried. I won't. I won't be able to experience it. You know, it's fine. Um. Uh. So then, yeah, we got into time machine territory. Like, yeah, I'd go back to 2007, destroy the time machine, so nobody can ever use it for anything wrong, and then uh, just live my life out from a 12-year-old again, because that's when I made the biggest mistake of my life, which was to say that I suppressed my, my transness and then didn't really realize it until I was like 20-something, and uh, that really kind of messed up my life in a big way. So I'd, I'd go back then and transition at an earlier age, live my life a little bit happier, be a happier person all in all, and, and be more successful, be able to get started on YouTube earlier, invest into Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, do all this kind of stuff, and end up uh, in a better place than I am right now. Uh, <laughs> and and peeps, peeps get so... Uh, so worked up about it, they're like, you're insanely boring. You're, like, so boring. How can you be this boring? And, uh... See, I guess I'm a boring person. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, I just... I don't really have, uh... So many, like, aspirations. I don't have... Too many unrealistic fantasies, you know? Like, I, I live a pretty... Contented life, and... Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I don't really need all that much more than I have. It'd be great if I can make YouTube work, but it was, it was kind of a, a fun thing because uh, he just, he just kept getting more and more bothered by it uh, every every step of the way because he's like, none of your answers are interesting. They're all boring. And I just yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you guys had a time machine, what would you do, right? I go back, fix the one mistake I made in my life, and then just live my life from there. You know, I I'm not gonna go to the past where my friends and family aren't at, because I don't want to be away from my friends and family. I'm not gonna go to the future. You know, same kind of reason. I'm not gonna travel all around like my timeline to fix all of the all of the. Uh, All the disasters and stuff, because I don't know if anything's going to come out of that. <laughs> you know, like, how do I know that stopping, you know, Hurricane Katrina or whatever doesn't end up uh, inciting, like, a huge mass murderer that goes off and explodes the Eiffel Tower? Like, I don't know. I'm sad. See, that sounds like a lot of work. Like, it's a lot of work, and then at the same time, you, you don't even know that it'll have a definitive positive effect. So it's like... Just really a, an idea that I'm not into. So I, I just go relive my life. I don't, I don't really have the, the desire to to, to... to I don't aspire to be somebody that, that goes around fixing the world, you know? I just want a, a nice, easy, coasty, comfy life, you know? That's all I need here. And I got it pretty well here. Yeah, a couple of a couple of glaring issues that I would like to get fixed. Working on them, but you know, it's it's just kind of we're not far off. I'm pretty content. I guess is uh, is what it boils down to. Anyway, uh, that's gonna end it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. What am I doing? Bye.